welcome to the Master of Unlocking 2019 Game of the Year Gala. We have still no pants on, and but are very formal up top. We went to Buffalo Wild Wings, and we did not put pants on. No. It was very uncomfortable. Well, I was fine. It was the other patrons that were just not... We had a lot of whispers going on. It was very strange. But uh, here we are. We are going to go. We're going to cut down a list of games down to our 41 best games of the year (laughs) and then cut it down to a top 10 and then order that top 10. But first, a couple warnings. One, spoilers. You're going to hear spoilers during this podcast because we're going to talk about the games in depth. And uh, another warning is that, hey, we have some blind spots this year. And well, uh, every year we have blind spots. Every year we have blind we're, spots. We're but, acknowledging. But we're going to actually year. acknowledge those blind spots this year. So um, I didn't properly introduce everybody, but uh, Jason, you want to rattle off a couple of these blind spots over there? All right. So is everything in alphabetical order? Here? Everything is yeah. in alphabetical <clears throat> order. Okay. If you'd like to know what any of these are, feel free because I think I have a good grasp. On yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't know if I know hardly any of these, which is probably why they're on this list. Mm-hmm. I do know what Bloodstained is, Caleb. That's a Castlevania like, right? Yep. Yeah, and we didn't play Made that. By the Castlevania guy. I believe this is on Game Pass now as well. If you're feeling frisky and want to really? check it out, awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I maybe I will. Um, what else? Let's see, I'll go through what I what I've heard of here. Okay, and that should be easy. Uh, the Division Two. Uh, Caleb, you played this for a little bit, <laughs> like an hour, and then I've, decided I don't want to play this. I played the demo. <laughs> it's the Division One, but it's also the Division Two now. So okay. I mean, if you played the Division One, you know what Division Two is. Yeah, I, there's just you make choices, right? And I did not choose to play that. Um, let's see. I know what Judgment is. Does that mean that's the Yakuza Judgment, right? Correct. And where does that fall in the timeline, Caleb, of the Yakuza games? It's not. It's all parallel universe. It is. So it's not any characters from the... It's in that universe, but it's it's the same location. But other than that, it's completely different. Uh, Monster Hunter World Iceborne. I don't know what that is. Is that DLC? Yeah. It's the expansion. It was apparently a very large expansion. Um, I didn't play it because it picks up from the end of the original game. So you you do have to be a certain rank to even start that content and I, I would have had to have grinded in the original game how many hours do you think i have no idea okay i was just <laughs> curious uh i've heard of shinmu 3 and i gotta tell you guys for the record right now mm-hmm. in front of god and everyone mm-hmm. and the holy jesus baby here in five days that i did not know shinmu 3 was out <laughs> mm-hmm. it came i out thought like- it was still in like in like Sometime late? soon, or yeah. I thought it was coming Come out soon. Late November, or something, something like that. Like that yeah. yeah, really. Mm. Uh, so, Can how has win? that been received? I okay, don't I, it's uh, it is a Shenmue game. Like, which, if you like those games, apparently you'll like three. If it's not going to change your mind, though, if you don't like those games. Okay, so uh, I've heard of WoW Classic, World of Warcraft classic vanilla wow is this, mm-hmm. is that what it's called caleb yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so they re-released that um other than just basic wow vanilla wow um does it look the same do they do any like it's upgrades exactly the same it's the same thing it's the exact same thing so it's kind of like rip For away all, of, all the years is. of the expansion content this Ripped is what away. it is yep. i thought that's what it was i had heard about it um but that's it and i gotta tell you I know what No Man's Sky is, and I know what F1 2019 is, um, but other than that, I don't know anything about these games, so somebody else can take it away. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll throw a few other ones on there that I at least know what they are. Concrete Genie is kind of a third-person spray paint game, okay. oddly enough. Uh, you're like a kid who goes around and does spray paint for good, I think. Are you telling me that it's the sequel to Mark Echo's Getting Up? Maybe. Because if it is, then I've done an incredible disservice to video games in this table this year. I apologize. Okay. Yeah. So that's what that is. I don't is. think there's any skateboarding involved, though. So. Uh-huh. Mm. Mm. Well, there's probably some parkour, maybe. Was it, no? Am I thinking of the right game, mm. Getting Up? Was there there was. There, I think it's, there was, but the, it was mostly like an Assassin's Creed oh, game. Really? <laughs> yeah, this is, a, like this is a little more. Th- it. It, it's more stylish than that. Like, it's not real world kind of stuff. Like, it's it's got a very 
unique look to it. Don't like the the graffiti doesn't it like come to life yeah stuff, like the graffiti yeah. comes to life and everything cool. else but it's like everything's like got this blue hue to it it's so it's and it's very cartoonish compared to like probably mark echoes getting up um All final right. fantasy 14 shadow bringers supposedly they fixed that game and everybody likes it who plays that style of game that's just not the style and, of game we play man i really i wish that i had the time to invest into it because people have said that this is the best story in a final fantasy game I've heard that too. And mm. man, I wish I could see that, but there's no way I'm going to spend 200 hours just to get to that content. Yeah. It's 200 hours, That's huh? That's what I And this is too. still an MMO, right? Yeah. Mm. <sighs> Which I I did play like 10 hours of the original and it forces you to like team up with people at certain points, oh, which boy. I was just like, nope, I'm out. <laughs> I understand that. Uh, Cyanora Wild Hearts, that is a rhythm game. It, I did play a little bit of that, did. but I didn't, I, it, yeah. I didn't like I've, it. I've seen people say it's that they like it or that they really don't like I, it. It's all, I should have just finished it because it's like an hour long, but yeah. whatever. <laughs> uh, Trials Rising is another Trials game. It's the, you know, the... It's a full release of Trials? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, so that came, that went, I think it was considered one of the worst Trials games. Like, they had above an 85. Oh, really? On Metacritic, that's why it's on this list. Mm. Well, maybe the other Trials games were better. That's the, I, I just remember hearing everybody saying it was more of a disappointment. Or maybe it wasn't, maybe I just put it on the list because I recognized it. I don't remember now. I don't know. Um, and then the only other game, at least I know of on here, well, maybe I skipped over it or anything else. Uh, nope, go ahead. <laughs> Caleb, you, you're probably going to know a little more about the rest of these than us. Um, a Medieval is a uh, retro first-person shooter. It mm. looks like old-school Doom, kind of. Uh, it had a really good score, but I didn't play any of it. Huh, I might um, check that out. Asgard's Wrath is a... Uh, it's like what people are calling like the first killer VR game. Mm. It's like super RPG, but in VR. Um, Astral Chain um, I don't, just didn't interest me at all. I, Logan, you you were looking at it at one point, weren't you? Uh, no, I just knew that it was a JRPG oh, that okay. came out for Switch. It's I, not a JRPG. It's, it's not? Uh, the, hack and a, Slash. Oh, it's a Hack and Slash? Yeah. Well, it's made by Platinum. Oh. Hmm. Really? Still, yeah. What's, what platform? Switch. Switch. Okay. Maybe that's why I didn't know about it. Okay. Um, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint did not interest me at all. <laughs> that kind of came and went with a whimper too, didn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah, like we we had a chance to play it at PAX and we were kind of like, eh. Nah, why not? <laughs> like, who cares? Or this is a successor be? to Wildlands, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, Dauntless is a uh, very simplified Monster Hunter type game. Um, I played it. I did like the first couple monsters, but not enough to have an opinion on it. It just seemed really way too simple and streamlined for me. Um, Devotion is a horror game by the people that made Detention, which I really liked, but I just never got around to playing Devotion. Uh, Manifold Garden is a um, a puzzle game. It's like it plays with perspective a lot, so people were kind of comparing it to. Um, Oh, what was the name of that game uh, from several years ago where everything like if you if you look in one direction, it's one thing. But the witness then if you turn. No. Um, good guess, but not that. But anyway, oh, the like Talos a, principle. No, I'm trying to think of what it is, but I'll I'll think of it later. Uh, Mord, how is that like super realistic um, medieval combat game? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, which not for me. Multiplayer only. <laughs> mm. I I wanted to play Remnant from the Ashes. I just never got time to do it. It's like a, it's people were saying it's kind of like a first person shooter Souls game in a lot of ways. Hmm. Okay. Um, I just never got to it. Slay the Spire is a deck building card game. Yeah. Um, where you build a deck and then go through a randomly generated thing. Cool name. Yeah. Slay the Spire. Uh, Steins Gate Elite is a visual novel based on. The Steins Gate anime. Um, I still haven't watched the anime either, but <laughs> that's on my list of things to do. Uh, Sunless Skies is like, um, uh, this is the game I know the least about, but I think it's a lot like Sunless Sea Seas. Um, it came out a few years ago. It's kind of a procedurally generated open world where you um, you take a ship around to different places and explore. I don't really know a whole lot about it. Total War Three Kingdoms is the new Total War. It's a strategy game, not my not my genre. 
um, Valfaris is uh, it's a 2D platformer that's set to like heavy metal. Um, it seemed like a really cool style, but I just never, never got a chance to play it. Platform again? I no. think that's on pretty much everything. I could be wrong. It might only it. be PC. I'm not sure. <clears throat> uh, and then War Groove is another strategy game that was out on Switch that I just didn't didn't really feel like playing. So yeah, those are the games that we didn't play. <laughs> All right, congratulations, Blind Spots. You didn't make the cut. So if if, if a game that you love was one that we just said. I'm sorry. We're sorry. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't play. We don't have the ability to play everything. And so mm-hmm. I was pretty passionate about us putting this together. Thank you, Caleb, for doing the work on it. Mm. Um, I just I want to, just because something doesn't make our list doesn't mean that it's we're so opinionated that it sucks or it's not mm. worthy. That's very much not what this is about for us. It's just the three things that we were able to get to. Everyone has a limited amount of time. And so... Um, what we mm-hmm. chose to spend our time playing is what we were interested in. And so, um, or honestly, I didn't know about Val for us. So I'm looking at it right now. Like, Oh, this looks like kind of like a new age Contra. Um, and I think it looks really neat. So maybe now that we've done this, I'll go play you it. Play so it check yeah. it out. Mm-hmm. So without further ado, Logan, are right. we ready to um, go into the anti- big list? Antichamber is the game I was trying to think of. That's Antichamber. Like, mm, yeah. Okay. All right, so traditionally, we have um, started making our official cuts at number 41. Uh, we have 64 games listed right now of games that we have either played. Um, it, we have played at least to a point where We've, we feel like we have an opinion on. Yeah, we played at least. Yeah, that's a perfect way to say it. Yeah. Um, so there are 64 games. We are going to make a quick cut down to 41. Um and uh, the other thing that I guess is another rule that we have for this, uh, our game of the year, is it has to have a full retail release. So it cannot be... the retail. It could be digital. Sorry, digital. But um, but it cannot be in um, beta. It cannot be in... What's that other Early term? Access. Early access. Um, otherwise, we would be seeing some other games on this list. Um, just thinking of like the auto chess games of the year yeah. have not, uh, none of those have really come out of early access. So those are not on this list. So even though I have almost 200 hours in underlords, I <laughs> am, it's not on this I'm list. probably <laughs> close to a hundred as well. Um, so yeah, so those will not be on this list. Um, that, so blind spots and anything in beta or early access are not on the list. Um, I don't know if we want to, what do we just want to, make quick hard cuts on some of these and not run through the list. And then we yeah. get down to 41. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to shot in the dark at American dad apocalypse soon. Should probably come off <laughs> yeah, this list. It was terrible. I didn't even touch it. It's and really I bad. love American dad. All right. So that is gone. Um, Caleb, you probably uh, got the yeah, most yeah, of me, like the, um, just, I played Wadham for like half an hour last night and didn't really like it. So I'll just delete that. Are we deleting? Things? Yeah. Just delete it yeah. off the row completely. Um, Dota underlords is currently on this list. We need to cut that off. Oh, yeah. Um, so we're trying to get down. Um, does Hotline Milwaukee classify <laughs> probably, as a release? It probably doesn't even count because it's mm, part of a different. Yeah, I just I, I Hotline Milwaukee is cool though. It's really right. Cool. I I love the idea and the concept of it, but I don't think it can qualify. When the dogs start running at you with guns, that's that's the that best. sounds real. That <laughs> sounds real dumb, and I like it a lot. Um. Oh, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to start uh, Metal Wolf Chaos. So. I'm taking oh, okay. Off. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's true. If we didn't play it, then that should come off. Um, the Division Two needs to come off. Oh, yep. Division Two is on here. Okay. Yeah, take that off. Uh, did K- Catherine Full Body? Oh, I've played like an hour of that. Okay, just, just take, take that off. Uh, I'm trying to think of other things that should just maybe fall off the list. Um, Fire uh, Emblem Three Houses, I played like 10 hours of, and it didn't, the, the combat is just way too easy. Mm-hmm. But I didn't finish it, so I feel like we should just take it off the list. And you're the only one who played it, so yeah. Sorry, Fire Emblem, I know you've I know got your fans yeah, out there. there's a lot of people that love that game, but it, it, the combat was way too easy, and I liked the interacting with people, but that wasn't going to carry the game for me. Mm-hmm. Um... What about grindstone? I just yeah, oh, so yeah, we stopped. Take that, take that off of there. Yeah, okay. Um, to think. Similarly, um, mini motorways can come off too. Okay. I like that game a lot, but it's not like a <laughs> it's not mm. a game of the year contender. Okay, I'm like more. I'm trying to look for like games that only one of us played, and 
Anthem. Oh, Anthem. Yeah, that should probably just go away. The it's problems a- with that game are well documented. I'm the only one that played it. Mm-hmm. You didn't really like it either, did you? Yeah. I, I, no. <laughs> cool, I, cool, I, I, cool idea. Like, it's just, you can go anywhere and find out what I guess I could, I could start taking off stuff that I just didn't finish. Like ukulele, I'll just take that off because I didn't finish it. If I didn't okay. like it enough to finish it, then it's obviously uh, not Art school? Out. Oh, yeah, take that off. Yeah, yeah take art school off. Um, what are we down to here? We're down to 51. Um, Need for Speed Heat can come off. Need for Speed Heat that I I I can't even believe that came out this year. Kind of thing like it was a uh, was it any good? No. Okay, <laughs> just curious. They moved all of the they moved drifting to the right trigger mm-hmm. as well as accelerate. So literally to drift, you just let go and then hit it again. That sounds real dumb. Yeah, it's real dumb. <laughs> it's no skill at all. Uh, what about the thirteenth doll? Uh, keep that on for okay. right now. All right, just curious. It was just a, a game that only you played that I wasn't sure. I'd never heard of it. Can we I'd take heard off talk Supermarket about. Shriek? Yeah, we can take off Supermarket <laughs> Shriek. The game's real dumb. Um, all right, 49. How many How many do we have to get down eight. to? Eight. We have to get 41. We got to get, is what we got to get down to. Um, what about? Dicey Dungeons. Dicey Dungeons, oh, okay. Go. You got it? You want me to? I'll do it. Okay, okay. you keep looking. Because, um, uh, yeah, you've got a lot of stuff on here that... You like, guys both stopped played. playing Blair Witch. Should that just come off? I, that game is bad. Yes. Yeah, Jason? Yeah. I'm, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, I didn't know if, yeah, you, if Jason wanted to say anything about how bad that was. We played. I played two hours of it, maybe. You played not even that. <laughs> he's not even talking yeah, that's how bad it is he just is making he gestures he, he left and he just threw his computer on the ground mm. that's how upset he is uh dead or alive six it's up to you um yeah we could probably we, could, we need to we need to make cuts here so mm. yeah that was absolutely not going to make the list so looks like it's days gone for days gone <laughs> I like that game. Okay, it's really not. It's really not. It's not too bad. And I, um, I think I might. I'm, I'm my January game for the year is up in the air. But mm. the game's totally competent. It's since we're talking about it, the the biggest the biggest problem I have for it is that in an open world game that is very long, there has to be a little bit of comic relief somewhere somehow. It's just not. And it is just so like self serious and just like constant dread and it is a little bit fatiguing after a while like there's no you guys remember brucey days gone yep. needs a brucey mm. like his kid needs something Some, somebody anything. somewhere yeah it's just it but having said that like the core gameplay is pretty good um and i think the story eventually will go somewhere but I'm 20 hours I've, in. I have heard that at like 25, 30 hours in, the story gets good in that game. I can see where it might be heading to, yeah. and I, I'm kind of, I kind of want to see it. The, my, what I'm going to spend my time on is kind of up in the air this coming month. But I'm considering finishing Days Gone. I'm considering it, but okay. it needs to go away because none of us, none of us finished it, and I played it for can only we, 20 hours. Can we take Tetris 99 off <laughs> the slogan? Yeah, yeah, I. I I enjoyed playing the handful. I shouldn't say right. handful. I probably played that one night I spent with it was fun. But. Yeah, <laughs> like I and I maybe played it a total of five sessions total. Yeah. So I maybe played like twenty five thirty games at most. Um, but yeah, that can go. Um, uh, Planet Zoo can go. Okay, I wasn't it's, sure how much you love that game. It's I, cool, but it's a little convoluted, and the tutorial is just absolutely terrible. Okay. Uh, all right, we're down to 44. Uh, we both stopped my friend Pedro. Should that go? I, Jason played it, some of it, too. I did. I didn't finish. I played like half of it, but mm. stuff's got to get to get to our, um, you know, government-mandated 41, 41. games. Right, <laughs> that's fine, yeah. Okay, my friend Pedro, goodbye. Um, what about things like... Um, um, da, 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 like, I know, I know. I've heard you talk about Chinese parents before. I just didn't know if that. 
Yeah, I want to keep that. I want to keep that on yeah. there. Okay. Uh, um, Eliza. Uh, I would rather cut uh, 13th Doll. Let's just cut okay. that because we need to get it down to. Okay. What okay, a, okay. I'll just say mm. like for a fan game, for a fan made project mm. from a franchise that like has been dead a really long time. Mm. I am really glad that game exists. And I thought it was good. I thought the, uh, the puzzles and stuff were really fun. Uh, it's got some rough, rough spots though. So <laughs> okay. it's not, it's not as polished as a, as a lot of these, a lot of the games on our list are. So okay. yeah, it should go. All right. We are at the point where we are at 41 games. Are we? All right. We are at 41. Nice. Um, so, uh, we want to rattle through these and then how do we want, at this point, do we want to start crossing stuff off? I mean, like instead of deleting yeah, sure. Right. This so is the, this is the list. The nominations. Right. These are right. all the nominations. Okay. So we will, and then it. So we'll we'll if it's going if we're going to lock it into a top ten, we'll put an X in column E. If not, we will. Uh, if we're going to cross it off, we will strike through it. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go through these uh, in alphabetical order. Here, you let how many are there? Forty. You list off like fifteen, and then. Just to give yourself a break, then I'll go. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. We'll 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 do that. Uh, yeah. So it's like thirteen, fourteen, or whatever. Okay. So, uh, in order of alphabetical, a plague tale, innocence, AI, the Somnium Files, another Eden colon the Cat Beyond Time and Space, Apex Legends, Assemble with Care, Baba is You, Borderlands Three, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Chinese Parents, Control. Corpse Party, Sweet Sachiko's Hysteric Birthday Bash, Crackdown 3, and I'm going to hand that off to Caleb at this point. Uh, Death Stranding, Devil May Cry 5, Disco Elysium, Eliza, Far Cry New Dawn, Gears 5, Hypnospace Outlaw, Kingdom Hearts 3, Life is Strange 2, Luigi's Mansion 3, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, Metro Exodus, and Jason, you can finish it off from there. All right. Fittingly, Mortal Kombat 11, <laughs> Outer Wilds, Pokemon Sword and Shield, Rage 2, Resident Evil 2, Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, Star Wars, Jedi Fallen Order, Super Mario Maker 2, Telling Lies, The Dark Pictures Anthology, colon, Man of Medan, The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening, The Outer Worlds, Toe Jam and Earl, Back in the Groove, Untitled Goose Game, Void Bastards, What the Golf, What the Golf, and What the, what yeah. the, what what the, the golf? golf, and Wolfenstein Youngblood. Good. I like the question mark at the end of <laughs> Youngblood. All right. So uh, we just want to go through and l- let's start crossing some off maybe yeah uh rage 2 rage 2 um, um, we crossed off immediately i didn't realize that we had I, skipped yeah, over I, that i have a phone call it's andrew wk oh okay he says we can't do that <laughs> does he say it's time to party <laughs> he says instead we should party hard instead okay. of cutting rage 2 that's <laughs> goodbye andrew <laughs> okay all right thanks for calling in andrew thanks for yeah. your opinion but your opinion is wrong this is a call-in so. show yeah all right um, I just hung up on Andrew WK. <laughs> <laughs> we are doing things with that. Um, I would like to cross off Assemble with Care. Sure. Uh, yeah. That the game's game, cool. I like it. The game's cool, but it needs to get to the damn point. <laughs> the, the narrative is not the strong point of that game. It it was. <laughs> there's too much narrative, not enough assembling with care. And the narrative is pretty, um, I don't know the word for it, boring. Yeah. Uh, rote, I guess might be a word for it Ooh. yeah <laughs> okay then yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah okay okay um what about far cry new dawn i actually had forgotten that that game came out this year so we could cross that off okay. i was a little i thought i was looking at our list the other day and i was like damn i meant to play that but I it's never fine it's a far cry it. yeah and it's, it's also short too yeah. so that's why I, I was a little disappointed that i didn't finish it yeah but there are other more important things right oh yeah I'd also like to cross off Toe Jam and Earl back in the groove. Okay. Uh, that was a kind of a disappointment. Um, did you guys play that together? We never played it together, did I we? I don't think we played it together. Oh, we did one. one. No, we did uh, for like our little... Oh, yeah. Uh, we did. Like we did we for did. a video yeah. one time. We played that? Yeah, we played that. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
forgot we it might have been an hour with at that point actually was it no i think it was we played that okay we haven't done hour with in probably a year really? i think okay. we played that yeah as, we, no. we've we done it we did a week. you know i mean give the people what they want right mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> something like that uh let's um, see life is strange too oh that? yeah that's gotta go um, i uh, you see you did you finish it i did finish it is i it forced still, myself to finish is it, it is it worth it or is it still we, boring we both hit cross it, it off at the same time yeah <laughs> you're so anxious to cross <laughs> yeah, it off i know the uh, i'll let you do the crossing off for okay now. that's it doesn't matter to me um i i had quit playing it because of how bored i was with yeah. it and yeah it was i i it was a massive disappointment you want to know how, what ending i got there's different endings. There's different endings. There's to two it? two different endings. Oh, well, I guess Life is Strange one had two different endings. Um, um, my ending involved them uh, escaping to Mexico and becoming um, Mexican gangsters. Um, and the the final scene was like these two dudes that or three dudes that came in to like I don't know get money from them or something. And Daniel just like pretty much kills them, and then they just go out the back and have a beer. This game sounds fucking terrible. <laughs> like it's so like it, it. Oh my god! Like the first episode was good, and then it was like you started the second one, and it was just a slog. Yeah, and it was just no. I didn't care about any of these people anymore. And oh god, it was bad. If we were doing most disappointing, do you guys think that it would be? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. of how good Life is Strange one yeah. was, and even before the storm wasn't bad. Okay. It wasn't gr- great, but it wasn't bad. This was bad. That's a bummer. Huh. Okay. Well, move on to more important things. Um, oh, okay. We can we can cross off Chinese parents. Um the game's cool. That sounded like really that sounded really interesting. It sounded interesting. Logan yeah. and I didn't play it obviously, mm-hmm. but we we've talked about it on the podcast yeah. and I that's a thing. I, I just I have a huge appreciation for what you described. Yeah. I really do. And I'm I'm really glad that it got it in English translation. Like yeah. that's a game that could have easily just you know died in Asia and we would have never known about it. Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, we all played this oddly enough, but Crackdown Three. Oh, that needs to go. Crackdown Three. I, I it's one of those I played through all of it, and because at the time there wasn't a lot out, yep. and it did its job. It kept me entertained no, for a little bit. I don't think it did its job at all. <laughs> <laughs> it was I I, I as. Mm, I think see. that game is actually this is probably the worst game like like li- like the actual worst game on our list here. really yeah hmm. I don't know if I can scrutinize the list enough to compare that but that is a compelling argument as I look at it it's oh yeah I, I'm not gonna say it's a good game by any means I but finished it and I did too. Kind of hated the last couple hours because they were just absolute slogs I didn't hate my time with it but it's not a good game either so that yeah it's kind of like we were talking about earlier, like dog food TV, you know, like you just, Oh yeah. I acknowledge what this is and it's, is it the, is crackdown through the fuller house this year? I mean, I don't know. Maybe. No, 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 no. Don't no. do that. You're yeah, talking to somebody who likes no, fuller house. No, over no, here. Don't, do don't you, don't you. I mean, there, there's no Stephanie, they, Stephanie Tanner's boobs are not in this game. They revealed that in this latest season, they revealed that there is yet another attic in this house. Okay, that's actually that sounds kind of funny. Okay, all right, take it back. Okay, yeah. If there's two addicts in the house that they never discovered, that's that's real dumb. And yeah. All right, carry on. Okay, what else here? Um, la 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 la. la. What else do I want to cut? I feel like there's a lot of things, Caleb, on here that are you finished. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we we have this problem every year. No, that's fine. Um. I think uh, telling lies can be. We can cut that here. Did you enjoy that? Though? I did. I enjoyed that. Okay. A lot. I I it's, was I was real close to picking it up and playing it in the, this last week, and I decided to do something else instead. But I, that was on my. I was like, mm, should I pick this up and do it? And I'm with you. I wish I had played that. To be honest, um, there's a lot of stuff on here that I'm comfortable cutting. It, it's at this point though where I'm kind of like trying to cut things in some sort of an order <laughs> oh okay like you don't want to cut something that's like mm, i like, don't want to just be like you know just throw okay we can just okay borderlands 3 just cross that off um we've played i've played about eight hours of that and it's really not doing a whole lot for me uh but it is i'm playing it in co-op with a buddy so we do we will pop on and probably finish that but okay um 
It's not. It's just. It's not compelling enough. It's to, uh, it's, to keep you guys like oh, we got to finish this game. It's it, so good. If like, this would have come out like five years ago, I would have been all over it. But mm. gaming has come so far. <laughs> it's changed. <laughs> mm-hmm. Not the same. Um. Oh, we, we can cut course party as well. Um, okay. I described the yeah, story you, of that earlier, so I don't need to mm-hmm. do it again. But mm-hmm. uh, in our moment of the year, in podcast, our moment of the right? year, yes. Uh, Jason, what about Wolfenstein Youngblood? Sure, I think we should cut that. Yeah, that that's game, fine. That game, we had an, we we were entertained. It's but, almost like the Crackdown thing, really. Just yeah. when we're talking to each other, same kind of along the lines of the Borderlands thing. Like this game, it's functional. We're not having a ton of fun, but we're doing it together. Yeah, which probably means the the only way we finished it is because we were doing it together. It was also a good time of year for that game to come out. Honestly, it was August. Yeah, and if it if it was out even in October, I bet we wouldn't have finished it. To be honest, no, I don't even know if we would well, have played it. Well, you guys didn't it. finish Gears. That's so what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Because the there were thing, other yeah. things to play at that right. time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we're um, we're only halfway, a little over halfway through Gears. I will be a bit of an apologist for the end of that game because mm-hmm. I feel like it's like it's front loaded with story. Then you slog through it, and then it's back loaded with story. There's there is a lot of like so. There's in a ton that last of stuff half hour the of the game. It was decent the boss fight is kind of interesting bj shows up some of the big bads like they're not like it re- it's revealed later that the person in the underground like what do you call that area in paris whatever the skull it was, area it was this I don't know what, it's what really it exists like, yeah, whatever that is i forget what it's called anyway that's where your hub is and um the woman that brings you there turns out she's been a nazi the whole time and mm. her um her partner is the big bad. I can't remember that guy's name. Yeah, I don't remember it either. But anyway, like it, it really like goes places at the end. It's like, man, people probably dropped it before you even got here. And not only that, but it's actually kind of interesting where we go with Wolfenstein mm. three, like proper. Is it going to be the the time that's filled between two and three? Or are we just going to go from Young Blood on? Because Young Blood, BJ's adult Old. girls twenty year twenty yeah. year gap, we'll call it. And so. Is this, this is set in the eighties, and so right, and this is is BJ going to go kill Hitler between two and three, and then they're going to create a Mecha Hitler post Young Blood. All of this stuff is really interesting, man. Like where they go from here, right. and it all happens in a like an hour and a half span. At the I would end. say thirty minutes. Is it? Okay. It was because it was very yeah, short. Like right. we, it's it was like, kind of like story, and then it was like the last boss fight, and then that was the end. Story, yeah. Yeah, I it was, it was and the th- the thing about that game too, and I, I feel like this is also becoming a a thing with games now is like, okay, you've got your hub world, and then you're gonna go to this certain spot within that world, you're gonna do your thing, and then you've got to go back to the hub world, and there's no quick travel. Uh, they did patch that in. They did patch it in a little bit with that, but there was also a major patch before. Like we, the, what we, we were hating, it. we were playing pre-patch, mm-hmm. and we and hated it. So that's the that's like you know we're in the world now of like mm-hmm. you have to constantly be watching a game to really have the current impression of it, right. rather than like bang mm-hmm. out your impressions of it and then move on to the next mm-hmm. game. That's not where we're at. But yep. it's but Jedi Fallen Order had that problem too. Yeah, uh, right. it was go to this spot in the world. Now you've got to go back I to think this spot. The difference though is well, I didn't play Young Blood, but the difference uh, for Fallen Order is it was it's fun just going from place to place, just like running around in that world is fun. At least it, to was, me it was. Yeah, there were some times where I was like, oh my god, this is <laughs> slog getting back to this place, and I don't want to have to do that Sometimes again. Sometimes you're but. better off not pulling up the map. Because it looks farther away than maybe it really oh, is. Oh, yeah. And like, that map yeah. sometimes oh. in the Jedi was not... Oh, it's unruly, maybe we'll call it. <sighs> it's a cool idea. I get what you're saying. But it's but hard to navigate that map. <sighs> yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Anyway, so on to the next thing. Uh, uh, we, can, we can cross off Eliza. Okay. Um, it's time... It's time to cut Eliza. It's time to cut Eliza. I know nothing about Eliza. What was Eliza? That's a visual novel by um, Zach Tronics, who normally they make like games that are based around coding. Um, so like they actually kind of teach you how to code while you're playing okay. the game. Uh, but this one, they were like, you know what? Let's just make a cool story. And it's about AI and its role in society. It's basically like... Um, uh, Eliza is the is a counselor, that's like an AI counselor, um, but they don't want it to come from a computer because counseling in front of a computer is weird. So they have a person act as a proxy, 
Uh, and the person literally reads the script that Eliza provides them. Hmm. Um, so it's kind of like, it's kind of interesting, like how that all would work if an AI was your, your therapist or whatever. Hmm. This artwork looks beautiful. Yeah, it is. I, I liked playing it. I thought the story was really good. Um, but there are things that I would rather fight for on here. <laughs> it looks cool. Jason, you're the only one that played Metro Exodus. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's the same It's the same principle of a group list. Like, I I like Metro Exodus a lot. Um, but I should play you that guys at some didn't point. play it, so that's, that's reason enough. It's on Game Pass, it. isn't it? I think it is now. I think it just got yeah. put on there. It, it, it launched in February. I had a lot of trouble with the controls. I don't know what it was, but it felt I like... I think that coming from... I don't know whether that game is tuned for a PC first and console second. Maybe. But coming from other experiences that are way tighter, um, yeah, it's not it's not perfect. I can't apologize for it. It's just got some weight to it that's a little bit weird. And plus, it's a stealth game, which can be a little bit cumbersome yeah. if the controls aren't tight. I think that where Metro Exodus shines, and I've been thinking about this a lot because I really do like Metro Exodus, um, it's about... Artyom and the group of characters that have decided that they're not going to live underground anymore. And so they go out into the world and it's that basic post-apocalyptic BS, which is some of the weaker points you go, Oh, these people are cannibals. I've seen this before. Okay. These people are, um, you know, the real enemy and the threat isn't the actual nuclear fallout. It's these people that are hunting for you for your goods. Um, it's, it's about, why you're doing the things you're doing. Um, your wife gets sick and you're out there just trying to find a cure for her and her condition worsens and worsens and worsens. And depending upon the decisions you make, she may not make it. And then there's a good and a bad ending. That's really compelling. Like if you go out there and mindlessly murder, then you get the bad ending. If you go out yeah. there and treat people with care, you get the good ending. That was the way the first two games work too, but it was really, I, I hope that they made that a little more clear in this game because it's the not. first two, okay, Mm-mm, the not. first two were like very, they were it was very obscure, <laughs> like the way that you had to do stuff if you wanted a particular ending. It's there's a there's a there's a touching moment where you save, um, you you have limited resources. You're on a train called the Aurora, and that's basically your moving hub. So you get this train working. You go from place to place. Sometimes the tracks may need to be repaired, so that's where you stop and kind of explore and then have a little bit of a, you know, like a a chapter in the story, if you will. Uh, You rescue a mom and her daughter and one of the guys in your unit, we'll call it, because it's like a fake military unit and the the, your leader is your father-in-law. And in order to take on this woman and child, one of your team members has to go. And so the choices in the game, whether or not you let them join your crew or not, um, is, is pretty, I don't know, it's pretty impactful. Like you can choose to take care of the people that you always have known or leave this adult man to go fend for himself. Uh, that's one of the, the interesting parts. And then near the end of the game, you start to really fall apart. And right when you don't think you're going to make it, everyone shows up just in time to to save you. Um, but whether or not you or your wife is saved depends on how you play the game. So I like Metro Exodus a lot. Um, Baba is you could be crossed off. Okay. Uh, and then anything you want to say about that at all or just, yeah, it's fun. I, it's watch uh, videos. I like, I liked the, the beginning puzzles way more than I liked the ending puzzles. Mm. There's just a lot of like, instead of being a, um, just a thought provoking puzzle. It turned into like, well, you got to do this before you do this. And then you got to do that before you do this. It's just a lot of like figuring out the there order like, of things. Then it was just it was, extra work. Yeah. It was just work mm. at that point. <laughs> got it. Uh, I think Marvel ultimate Alliance three can come off. Um, it was, it's kind of like what the previous multi- Marvel games were. If you've played any of those or X-Men legends, something like that. Uh, I like the story in this one a lot. Uh, it tells kind of an alternate story of the Infinity Saga, uh, which we just went through with all the Marvel movies. Um, this one actually included Thanos' brother, who actually was um, is part of the Eternals, Marvel Eternals, which is a different comic. Um, and, and a TV show, right? Uh, no. Uh, yeah. Is it the Eternals? I think so. Oh, yeah, there's... 
There's so many. There's so many. Yeah. <laughs> they're, well, they're making a movie of it. It's the one. Maybe that's what I'm yeah. Thinking this of. the new. It's the new movie that's coming out with like Angelina Jolie, Salma Hayek, um, Kunal, and then Jabi. Uh, where I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know his name. I know it's new Nanjani. Nanjani. I couldn't. I couldn't remember what it was. Uh, four for four. Four for four. New Jubi. I don't remember. Sorry. I know it was Kumal something. Punjabi. Um. Uh. Anyway. Uh. So that's coming out soon. But uh, the game itself is good. I think that it had it struggled with trying to fill too many Marvel characters in there, and then what it would do is you leveled up fast with the people you played with. But then as you got the new character, they were usually a couple levels under you. So you wouldn't want to play with them because they weren't up the level. So I kind of stuck with the same core people the whole time, which I probably would have stuck with to begin with just because I like those characters. Uh, But I I think the story itself was fine. The gameplay of it was very repetitive and um, lacked some variance. Um, It was very beat them up. Played it for like, not probably not even an hour and was already feeling it was getting too repetitive so mm. the the story is what kept me going with it um but it was um but yeah i can definitely go hmm um, we're getting harder cuts yeah yeah uh pokemon pokemon can go any uh, yeah what, what were your thoughts it's on this good it's a good pokemon um i i don't it's just I was kind of hoping it would kind of revolutionize Pokemon and it didn't just kind of <laughs> same old, same old, same old, same old. So it's on switch, I guess. So that's a thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm, it's a good one. If you've never played one before, I might recommend this one, but I heard it's easier. It is very easy. Then um, that was one of the complaints about it. Was it almost I, too like, easy? I purposely skipped a bunch of fights just so that I could stay low enough level for it to be somewhat challenging. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, the uh, right before you get to the like the final boss thing, um, there's a section where it basically forces you to catch a legendary Pokemon, uh, and that legendary Pokemon is Dragon type. And then the final boss has three Pokemon that are weak to Dragon, <laughs> so it basically gives you a way to kill three of them in one shot. Ah. Uh. Hmm. So he's down to three Pokemon right off the bat. And it's, hmm. yeah, it's stuff like that. It's just, yeah. Weird. Um, I'm thinking Jason, you and I are the only ones that really played this a lot. Apex legends. Yeah. I, it, it's almost, I don't, it's almost deserving of the blind spot award for me just because there's so yeah. much of it. It's that changed. I seen. Yeah. It's, I think we played during launch Yeah, and it, it's one of those, the, the season games. How I about think. song of the year? Yeah. Dude, that yeah. theme mm-hmm. and when you're launching in. Mwah. I don't know. Take mm. control. Face my fears. <laughs> Face my fears. Oh, that was this year. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Sorry, Jason. Jeez. <laughs> Try to throw Apex a bone on the way out. No, you it's, guys are it, kicking it, 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 it in the is, ass on the way out. It is the best battle intro royale. song to a battle royale game of 2019. No, I was just going to say it's the best battle royale. While wearing sweatpants, yeah. drinking a Diet Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I I will say it is the most fun playing a battle royale that I've had. Fair enough. I didn't like Fortnite. Uh, I, didn't I like liked PUBG. PUBG. I think I, I like PUBG, PUBG more better. too. I think I like PUBG better. PUBG right. is, was too complicated for me i think apex <laughs> legends uh it will be will given its due out of other editorial staffs oh, yeah. so yeah. we can we can let it go yeah what are we down to oh boy uh we're down to getting to rid three, of the four. dark pictures anthology man of a dan okay i'm good with that um uh, i enjoyed my time with that game but uh it wasn't as good i'm surprised you didn't play that caleb i am too it's really surprising that you didn't play. You don't that. need to. Did you not play until? Did you not like until dawn? I like until dawn a lot. I just uh, this one felt like pretty underwhelming it's comparatively. Fine. It's so. per, yeah. It's definitely not as good. Um, I'm hoping that they do something. You know better what? The maybe next time. maybe on some Friday night when I'm hanging out, we'll put that in and just pass the controller around. There maybe you that go. Be, That's maybe one. Yeah, that would be a good way to play that. That would be. Yes. There is a co-op option with that, isn't there? Like a straight. Couch oh co-op? yeah, I think there is. And then you like vote on the options and stuff. I think, I so. think there is. Yeah. Hmm. There is something weird with that that you can do co op. Um, who? Let's uh, see. What Link's are we doing? Awakening can, can okay. be cut. 
Um, first of all, because I don't know if it <laughs> necessarily qualifies, but also like there are better, there are games in this list that I would much rather. I, I love Link's Awakening, the original, mm-hmm. and this one's good. Um, I think the stuff they added though is kind of weak. They added the the dungeon building thing, which is really just bad. Um, and overall, it didn't really change it too much. It kind of it was pretty faithful for good and bad. Um, We're down to twenty two, by the way. Okay, it's good, but yeah, there are things that I would rather have. Uh. I would like to take off a Plague Tale Innocence. What are you thinking, Caleb? Yeah, we're going to have to eventually, so we might mm. as well now. Um, I like that game a lot. I know I liked it better than you. <laughs> I That game suffered to me from just the pacing. I think it, it went on for about two to three hours too long. There was a point in time That's where fair. I was just like, oh my God, can this game move forward, please? So it's an Apatow movie? or <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I think it would have been higher if it really hadn't had that spot with the pacing issues. Yeah, and there are a couple of boss fights are frustrating too in that game. Hmm. Yeah, for me it was just the story pacing that that got me more than anything. Um, um I don't think I don't think what the golf is going to make it. Jason, you ended up playing that, right? No. Oh, somehow it was on. It showed up as now. Okay, now it's not showing up that you played it. Okay, now I got it. Um, yeah, I didn't end up finishing that. I was having fun with it until it made me start spinning around in an airport, or not in an <laughs> yeah. airport, in a plane, and I couldn't do it anymore, so I had to quit. Some uh, of the sections are better than others, um, but it is impressive what they did with one mechanic. Yeah, because you're just you're literally flicking, <laughs> the just flicking the stuff. entire time, yeah. and and they managed to wind that into a bunch of different genres and uh, homages to different games. All right. Um. Yeah. How how did how do you feel about the outer worlds? Um, I fell off pretty hard in the middle of monarch um i lost the will to play that game i think that game starts really strong and i think it gets weaker and weaker as it goes um yeah i'm good with going ahead and taking it off jason you didn't really you did care for it, it to a little start. bit right um, and you didn't like it i think it's just not for me um you don't have anything nice to say don't say it at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay fair uh, that game does have some great parts, though. I did enjoy um, myself for the first probably four hours. When you go back to... Actually, you might have gotten to... the. It's, I think it's the second time you go to Monarch, and they they say, you need to go to the research lab. And you're like, oh, okay. So you start walking, and you get to the research lab. And you go back, and you're like, no, 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 the other research lab. The secret research lab. You're like, wait, what? So if you keep walking on that path, there's another building out there, and it's just very clearly labeled secret research lab. <laughs> there's, there's, this com- great- there's some good comedy in that game for sure or they also they poke fun at um at fallout at one point because you one of those story beats is that you have to um you're trying to send a radio signal so but there are two other groups on the planet that are already sending radio signals and there's not enough free airspace to send another one so you have to convince them to turn off their radio signals uh, and after you do that you go back to the radio tower and the guy is like, oh, okay, well, here's the key to the antenna. So I just need you to go put in that key and raise the antenna and then we'll get your broadcast going. And one of the dialogue options you have is like, wait, you're telling me there's only one key? There's not three keys that I have to go to various parts of the world to get and collect and run quests for people to get these other two keys? And he's like, no, that's why would anyone design anything like that? So I I laughed at that pretty it's hard. It's pretty too. good. It's yeah. pretty <laughs> That's almost a moment. Yeah, yeah, almost. Yeah, um, but yeah, that I think yeah, Outer Worlds. I wish I hadn't fallen off of it so hard, but I got to a point where I was just like, I don't want to touch this anymore. I think it's a good game. I don't think it's a great game, but I think it's a good mm-hmm. one. Um, one of the forty-one best games of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Third, uh, one of tied for thirty. No, tied for eleventh place with thirty-one other games. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Uh, well, we've had a lo- we've had a number eleven That's before. I would Dang hold off on that number. Um, Caleb, you've got a few other things on here that are solo you played and finished. 
Um, yeah, what am I willing to cut? Though, what are you willing to cut is kind of the thing. I know this, I mean, because as it's a collective list, I guess these are, okay. I think look. about where they're landing on your top 10. Yep. Um, we can cut. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, we can cut another Eden. Oh, oh I, um, I did not expect you to cut that one. Yeah, I fell off that game just because it's it started to get into the pay to win territory mm. where you have to pay stuff if you want to keep going with it. And just, I mean, I got like probably 40, 50 hours out of that game, but. Okay. Should we start doing a couple locks here for a top 10? And maybe that'll help us get it down. Yeah. Well, uh, actually, there's or two. Do want, or do you want to cut a couple more? And then I think we'll... there's two that I wanted to ask you guys about. Okay. Uh, how do you, Logan, feel about Outer Wilds? I, um, so let's put it this way. You turn on that game. <laughs> that music is incredible. Yeah. I don't, I don't, it reminds me of Explosions in the Sky. I don't know if you know who that band is, no. but they only do instrumental stuff. And that's the music that it seems like in that game. And it really fits well with that, that universe. Um, my problem with that game, I can't land the fucking spaceship. Yeah, same. And so I'm literally on like my third thing I'm supposed to do and I can't land the damn spaceship. So I'm done with that game and I'm probably never going to touch it again. So yes, there's, you can come well off. I didn't know how much point, you liked it. Uh, there's a point where you have to land on a comet that's rotating the sun and oh Fuck that. my god, it's so hard to do. I <laughs> spent way too much time because I was like, "Why does everybody love this game so much? I can't figure out how to land this damn. There's got to be something going on. I read stuff on the internet. I cannot figure it out for the life of me how the to con- land." The controls are kind of what ruined it for me. I I think the story is cool, and I I really like the fact that like you can do stuff in whatever order you want, and there's no loading. Like you just yeah. get in your ship and fly to whichever sh- planet mm-hmm. you want. Um, but I think that starts out really cool. And then when they make you do things that are mechanically more difficult and you fail at that and have to restart the whole thing, I think that gets frustrating. Yeah, very much so. Um, I didn't, I put down that I finished it. I got quote unquote the bad ending. <laughs> oh, okay. And, Cause I, I saw what you have to do for the, for the actual ending. And I'm like, mechanically, I'm not going to be able to do that. I just couldn't. Cause it's like, you have to do like five things in a row without mm-hmm. failing at any of them individually. So I was, you know what, I'm done. I don't, I don't, I didn't, I didn't feel that strong about the story to begin with. So. Okay. Is that on Game Pass now? Yes. Finally? Yeah. Mm, it's been on Game Pass now for a few months. Oh, has it? Yeah. Okay. It's been out there for it's a while. On, it's Game Pass only on Xbox though. The PC version is not on the Game Pass. Right. Um, the other one I wanted to ask about was uh, Mario Maker. You guys feel like. I'm good with taking that off. Um, the, the story mode in it was, I I mean, I'm, I like the levels that they put together for that. Yeah. Um, it made a flight go pretty quick for me. I appreciate that. (laughs) Yeah. Um, I was having fun with it. Uh, I haven't fully finished it yet. I think I have like maybe a very little bit left to go. I mean, I'm, my castle's almost built. I just, it's one of those, I only play it when I travel and when I don't have anything else to play. So I'm not compelled to go back and play it all the time. Jason, how much did you play of that? Of what? I'm sorry. Mario I looking, Maker? I was looking at Outer World. Uh, I got like halfway through the story campaign. Mm-hmm. Um, I like it a lot, mm-hmm. um, but I didn't see it through. So yeah, And I didn't go back to Those, it. That's not a failing of it, though, honestly. I just chose, like any year, but I, I mm-hmm. just chose other things above it. Yeah. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that I don't like that game. It's still very much Mario Maker 1. Be, uh, with the tool sets and everything else and i and honestly i think that it's it's harder to use on the switch i think the tool sets with the actual making of levels is mm. is harder than it was on the, the stylus Be- oh, well which i mean i still grabbed a stylus and i was still using it um using a stylus with it but it still just doesn't something about it just didn't feel as precise and it I don't know what it was, but maybe it was the fact that I could sit there with that little tablet and then look up at the TV and do a, a mix of both things, and it just something fell off with it. I, I don't know. Just compared to one. So, are we crossing that? I'm good with crossing it off. Jason, are you good with crossing yeah, it off? Okay. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay. Um. Okay. 
So are we, we down to? We are down to. Uh, I'm just gonna rattle off the games yeah. um, at this point. So can we sort these? Uh, no, not we, since we crossed them off. Not, not sort um, We could. Okay. I, I could like cut and paste. Yeah, if you want to cut and paste and then start deleting, I'll make a new uh, sheet. Make a new and... sheet. Um, I'll start rattling them off while you're doing that. Uh, AI, the Somnium files, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Control, Death Stranding, Devil May Cry Five, Disco Elysium, Gears Five, Hypnospace Outlaw, Kingdom Hearts Three, Luigi's Mansion Three, Mortal Kombat Eleven, Resident Evil Two, Sekiro: Shadows Die Twice, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Untitled Goose Game and Void Bastards. So I think that's sixteen. Oof. And to make some hard cuts here, then. Mm-hmm. This is always the this is always the worst part. Do we want to take a break? Take, take a four for four break and um, <laughs> and twenties. Uh, twenties. Oh God! Don't right. even no, say God. that. We just got done eating lunch. Little. Yeah. Um, so that is where we're at with our cuts. Um, we are going to take a break and uh, not talk to each other while we all go to the bathroom and we'll be right back. And our bladders are empty and we are back to make the cut to the top 10 games of the year. Um... Again, to quick recap, we are down to AI, the Somnium Files, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Control, Death Stranding, Devil May Cry 5, Disco Elysium, Gears 5, Hypnospace Outlaw, Kingdom Hearts 3, Luigi's Mansion 3, Mortal Kombat 11, Resident Evil 2, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, Untitled Goose Game, and Void Bastards. Anybody have anything they want to cut? Um, I'm going to have to because I have three games here that are just me games. Yeah, I was kind of looking at you going, okay, are any of these games in your top five? And if they're not in your top five by solo That's games, not fair. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> um, how about this, though? Before okay. we start, okay. before I start doing that, before you start doing a how, cut? how do you feel about Luigi's Mansion? How, how, Jason, how do you feel about Luigi's Mansion? Because you've been playing it recently. It's something that we've all three played. Um, looking back on it, I don't hate it as much as I did when I... I think when we podcasted about it the first time, I was pretty down on it. Yeah. But I think I, but it was just because of that final boss and there were some issues with... The cat. The cat. The damn cat. Um, but as a whole, I think that game is okay. And it's and I shouldn't say okay. It is is a good game. Mm-hmm. Okay would be a bad boy term to use. I think it is a good game. There's just some things about it that if I wasn't playing it straight and wasn't trying to finish it as fast as I could, it might not have been as bad. Um, but that's where I was. So I'm I'm curious what Jason thinks because I have n- I have not talked to you at all about this game. No, mm. I think it's okay. It's fine, but that's the hard thing about the top 10 is that I don't, Mm -hmm. I just don't, I don't, I don't know if there's room for it, even from a collective perspective, like all the things on here that we played together. Mm -hmm. Would you rather keep that or Gears 5? Uh, That's your call. I don't care. If you were just throwing out games that we've all played that we were like, I just, I, I like Gears 5 for, for a different reason than you guys. You play the multiplayer. We don't. Right. Typically. Yeah. So there, that's a there, different reason. And that's so this year in particular, like different, different games mean different things to us for different reasons. Right. And so it's, I, I don't, I don't really like gears five, Luigi's mansion, like, if you guys had a really, mm. if you had a really strong argument for Luigi's Mansion over Gears Five, who knows? Maybe, I would, maybe I would neither listen. of us are going to end up making. It. I, I don't say, know. Should we just? Should we cut? I don't think either, any of us are passionate about either of those games. So should we just cut them? Well, I'm passionate about Gears Five, oh, but I'm okay. also, I'm also, sorry, I I'm also trying to be realistic. No, yeah, Gears Five is pretty high on my list. So okay. let's but keep it's Gears only Five for, on it's there. Only yeah. for multiplayer reasons. Let's keep mm. Gears for now. Let's cut Luigi's Mansion for now. Well, not for now, but <laughs> let's cut Luigi's Mansion, keep Gears. 
Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, I will. Cause there's th- the three games that are just me games left. Mm-hmm. Are AI, Disco Elysium, and Hypnospace. Yes. Where are you at with those and Void Bastards? I like Void Bastards a lot, and we both played Void Bastards. <laughs> I yeah. played Void Bastards. I just didn't finish it. I'm just uh, out of those four games. I I like Void Bastards. Okay. I'm. We're gonna have to cut AI. I think. Okay. I feel like I don't um, know anything about that game. You probably don't because I haven't described it at all. Okay. Um. So this is it's a visual novel. Um. By the makers of the Zero Escape series, which is Nine 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 Virtue's Last Reward and Zero Time Dilemma. Um, this is not part of that series, but the same team. Um, it's a detective uh, who um, is investigating a murder. And the unique thing about this world is they have a, it's called the Somnium Machine, um, where you can go into somebody's dream um, and get clues that way. So like if you connect to somebody through this machine, you'll end up in their dream world. Um, and as with dreams, um, a lot of the stuff is kind of obscure and abstract, but some of it is based in reality too. So you kind of get clues as to the murder by connecting with people, um, whether they want to or not. <laughs> sometimes it's like a person that's, that can't remember something, or sometimes it's a person that doesn't want to cooperate and you go in and try to find them. Um, the cool thing is you find out like three quarters of the way through the game that they, they keep telling you six minutes. You can only stay in the Somnium for six minutes. Otherwise, something bad's going to happen. But they never say what. Uh, and eventually you find out that if you stay in for longer than six minutes, you actually switch minds with that person. So okay. you're, you're trapped inside of their inside body. Of the mind, yeah. Or inside their body, yeah. So, um, the, the twist on the, the murder, which, there's a murder that happens and then another murder and then another murder and then another one. And they don't seem to be, um, they seem to be random. And the person that you keep coming up with as the culprit is different every time. And you're, you're just like, well, this person, they have no motive for doing this, but everything points to them doing this. And you find out that it's actually a serial killer who is, he has swapped minds. So what he does is he swaps minds with somebody and then kills the last person that he, that he was inhabiting. So he just like chain kills people this way. Okay. Uh, and he's the reason that he's doing this to all the people that you know, uh, is because you are actually in his original body. Um, you, you don't know this, but you are, he wants his body back. So he keeps doing oh, this. So, so he's, he's trying, trying to, to find his, his body, back. body back. Okay. Yeah. And I thought it was a really cool twist. I like, I like that story a lot. Um, but hmm. there, there are. I would rather fight for something. I else. would rather fight for Disco Elysium and Hypnospace Outlaw than AI. So I think that's got to go. I'm watching your boy Pewter over here talk to somebody. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Pewter is the inventor of the Somnium machine. Okay. Yeah. He we're looks like to, it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, we're down to fourteen. Um, I guess, yeah, I, I need to cut one of the other of those two then, don't I? Maybe. So uh, I need to cut Hypnospace. Was Hypnospace like the coding game? Or am I... That was the... the that was the other... The one I talked about earlier where the okay. um, the virtual reality headsets in when you sleep. Okay. And the 90s GeoCities. 90s GeoCities yeah. thing, okay, yeah. Yeah, I, need, I guess I need to cut that because Disco Elysium's got to stay. Do you get... Yeah, okay. Anything you want to say about Hypnospace? I already, we talked about it a talked lot about it during, a lot. during the, the moment. moment. Yeah, so. I just didn't know if you wanted to throw anything else out there at all. Oh, boy. Oh. Um. Hmm. This is a tough. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Void Bastards. I thought it was fine, but I only thought it was fine because it was nothing out in the middle of July and I d- and nothing pulled me back to it. I'm not opposed to cutting it, but I like it better than a lot of games on this list. Jason, what were your thoughts on it compared to some other things on this list? I'm kind of the opposite of that. I do like it, but I don't like it as much as stuff on this on the rest of this list. But I... If I'm the highest on this, then yeah, we should just cut that. 
Well, it's the same thing though with with Gears Five. Like if I'm if I'm the only one who really loves that game, then I don't hate Gears Five. I'm just we were we were at a point. You and I, Jason and I, have been playing it, um, and all this other stuff came out, and we never got a chance to go back and finish it because we've been trying to play solo stuff. At the same time, we'll probably finish it here in the next two weeks or whatever. Um, it's a good Gears game so far. I'm not a fan of the open world stuff, but... Yeah, that stuff's Caleb, not good. Because, Caleb, you're the only one that finished it. And um, at the end of the game, you do you have to backtrack to locations you've been to before, which is super annoying. So you're more down on it because of you that now that you finished it. I mean... Is it one of is, would, okay? This this conversation means that we should cut Lloyd Bastards, <laughs> because Jason is Jason is passionate about Gears, and I'm not super passionate about Lloyd Bastards. So if it's one of the other, it's got Gears has got to stay. Right. Yeah. So let's okay. let's let's do so, that okay. first, and then okay. we can talk about cutting Gears or something else or something else. Yeah, that's well, true. By process of elimination, then I mean we still need 10 games, so we're down we need two more games to be cut, but I guess we haven't there's certain games we haven't even talked about yet that Where are you guys at on COD? I like it a lot. Yeah, I like COD too. I didn't and I thought you were high on it too. I, I just, am, but I just, I just I'm didn't. trying to I'm trying to be reasonable. I really do but this whole list for this this year especially it's like mm-hmm. We're, we're really there's still these games are all pretty good yeah. yeah but it's not been like oh my god drop everything play this game you <laughs> yeah. know it's just not one mm. of those years so I'm not gonna go to the mattresses this year in particular um, very much what about Star Wars I like Star Wars a lot I do Man. too <laughs> I, I, I do Star too. Wars I, was a shoe in for our top 10 I just maybe I, it's not I'm asking I, that's what I mean I'm just I, I, I I've turned way around on that game but because I, I felt like, yeah, because I guess the first time you and I talked about it, I didn't think you were very high on. I didn't, I didn't like it very much, but I also think it, I think it and Control suffer from the same thing, where it just doesn't reveal enough of what it is until too late. I yeah. think both Control and Star Wars have that same problem, mm. where oh, I really enjoyed this, and I enjoyed it for three hours, and for the other like fifteen. Uh, yeah, I, for me, Control, I enjoyed it almost the entire time. Yeah, I, that's I, fine. Um, I mean, that I I'm gonna switch that for me. I would, I enjoyed Star Wars the entire okay. time and Control was. Kinda, I didn't. There was there was. I, I'm actually I'm good with keeping Star Wars on the list. Don't don't act like I'm not. Um, I just was asking yeah. the question because I I think Star Wars is a good game. Well, where are we at versus? Um, okay, let's talk about. Uh, let's talk about Double My Cry. Should we should we lock stuff and then work that way? Now. I'm okay with that. That kind of just, that means that we then have to identify the most important things to us individually. Mm -hmm. Um, which means things probably won't be as contentious just because we understand how important it is to one another. So if we were going to lock a game, is that Mm. what you're proposing? Caleb, we go around and go around twice and lock a game. Okay. Okay. So everybody goes, yeah, we go around and lock a game and don't try to play politics with it. Lock what you want to play. Right. Right. Lock Lock what what you want. want. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, we just, where do you want to start? I'll start just because okay. we all know it. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> uh, Sekiro. Okay. Jason. MK11. That's what I figured. Yeah. Uh, control. Um, Resident Evil. Okay. Jason. Death Stranding. Okay. I feel pretty comfortable with all of those. Now that we've yeah. locked those, I feel good with that. That's six games? Mm-hmm. Here, so let's sort by that sheet now. Okay. okay so that leaves uh, Call of Duty, Devil May Cry, Disco Elysium, Gears 5, Star Wars, and Untitled Goose Game. Gears 5's got to go. We didn't finish it. Uh, that's fine. It's got to go. Okay. That's fine. Uh, it's got to go. Uh, that makes me happy. <laughs> okay. Um, it, uh, I, can't, I can't sit here and be like, it's fine. It's it's okay gears. It's, it's I, fine. that's all. I I felt like it was going to be like our eleven or twelve game we're coming into this. What's that was just my and guy. I'm the only one out there who's really like playing multiplayer and stuff. And, and I can't see, seize it another way. I can't die on that hill. So okay. Um, I'm willing to go back and have that discussion about Devil May Cry Five. I enjoyed playing as Dante a lot. But I didn't. I, I'm the same boat. I enjoyed playing as V. I enjoyed playing it's as okay. I I 
I, I, I any time I was yeah, like, I'm with you on that. I on never Nero. liked playing Nero. I just, I, I don't know if I wasn't figuring it out or if it was just too slow. But when you have those other options, it was like, why would I ever play as Nero? And Jason, you can you can counter this if you want to counter this. Yes, if you would like uh, to. No, I, what I'm about to mm, say right okay. now, mm. um, I felt like, and please tell me that I'm wrong because I hope I'm wrong. I felt like the combos and the stuff that they give you, um, there's not necessarily a spot for it all. Like as opposed to DMC, where you have all these weapons and you're flipping between them on the fly because you know that the red thing has got to go against the red thing, and you know that the hammer is going to break the armor. And, and in, in Devil May Cry Five, I didn't feel that way. I felt like I had a lot of tools, but never an incentive to kind of use them. All. Agreed. I think that that game is. I think I don't. The way that we play games isn't isn't what Devil May Cry Five is after. It's after someone who wants to play that game four times on each tier difficulty and then unlock. And play it. I'm going to play this level as Dante this time and this level as V this time. And, and mm-hmm. unlock some of those. There's not room for it because I think it's tier difficulty. So you play through the first time and you use a certain set of unlocks and the second time you use the next set and then the next set. And so by the time you play through the fourth time, you're not doing any of the same stuff okay. you did the first time. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. I think it's it's like a new game plus, 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 plus is what they're after. Um, well, let's... So... I, if you guys really... If you guys really... If, if you guys would... So the, we've got five games left that aren't locked. We've got COD, Devil May Cry 5, Disco Elysium... Uh, Jedi Fallen Order and Goose Game. So, if you think Devil May Cry Five versus Goose Game, Devil May Cry Five is worse than that. <laughs> That's such a weird comparison. I know it is. I know. Like, I know. Which is better? <laughs> if you guys think that the that Goose Game is better than Devil May Cry Five, honestly, and you feel like Fallen Order is better than Devil May Cry Five then I would I would listen to that argument. But I just want to make sure that you guys think that those games are better than Double My Cry 5. I enjoyed a bigger percentage of <laughs> Star Wars and Goose Game than the percentage of Double My Cry that I enjoyed. I, I would agree. That's my... I, I think I, of all of the games, I can't compare Disco because I didn't play it. Um but I think, yeah, that all of those rank higher for me than Devil May Cry 5. Fine. Would you... What about Call of Duty, though? Mm. Would you no, rather keep Call of Duty I would Duty rather than, keep COD, okay. I think. Yeah. If you, made me, if you made me pick one. I'm kind of... Those two are the last two for me that I... That I would cut one of those two from my personal list. Okay. And I'm okay with... I'm okay with... I'm okay with that. And I'd really. rather leave COD on there too. So we've got two, okay. two votes for COD over DMC. And sure. Bye, well, I shouldn't say DMC because DMC is his own Thank game. you for not making me cut Disco Elysium. <laughs> no, yeah. I understand. <laughs> yeah, there's... Yeah, we, yeah, we've each got our things. All right. Uh, okay. In alphabetical order, I'm going to sort this again. Our top 10. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Control. Death Stranding, Disco Elysium, Kingdom Hearts 3, Mortal Kombat 11, Resident Evil 2, Sekiro, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, Untitled Goose Game. All right. Uh, Now we got to rank them. Now the hard part. Now the really hard part, yeah. All right. Um... Oh, how do, I don't even know how we. Start I'm trying this. to think of how we start this too. Um, because this this year in particular, I feel like each of us individually is kind of all over the board with this. So part of me, I and Caleb, you're going to shoot me for this one, but because we didn't play it, I feel like we all. You're the only one who played it. We have to put Disco at ten, and it, I feel like we've done this in years past yeah, with games. That we haven't I'm played. willing to, because, but I, I feel like that I've done a disservice to Caleb or done dirty a couple of times here. Yeah, because I went and played Stardew Valley, and I would have like we just didn't have the option to because we don't have PCs. Yeah, but if I, I could have, but I could have played that on a Steam client on a Mac. Like I could have done it. I could have made that work, and I didn't, and I should have because I was curious about it, and mm. I just, I, chose I, I was curious things. about it too. I, right. I, my counter to that, and I, 
Again, I don't like mm. to do this to you either. I know. Uh, but there is a game on here that I don't like. I know. As opposed to a game that you didn't play. True. So, um, But I also don't know Jason's feelings on said game because I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. So uh, let's just throw it out there. Kingdom Hearts 3. Like what's what's worse, because, not liking a game or not playing a game? You know what I mean. Mm, like you could true. you could go either way. On One of the, yeah, you're saying you know. actively dislike it, but I also have a game on here that I actively dislike, which is Sekiro. Okay, did you try it? I'm currently playing it right now. Okay, how far? Uh, probably five or six hours. Okay, did you get to the guy on the horse? Yep. Okay. Fuck, man, it gets hard there. Fuck, mm-hmm. it's so hard. Yeah. It's so hard. It's so, very hard. Yeah. So I'm that's I just beat the guy on the horse. Okay. And I didn't congratulations. Beat him. Yeah, good yeah, for you. I didn't beat him. It's a tough one. Man. Because so, you don't have like anything at that point. No. Um oh, God. so I am I, my thoughts on that game. I play games to relax and have fun. I don't relax or have fun in that game. <laughs> and that's fair. That's not for me. And so I I felt like there I felt like there was also issues with that game that I had with camera. Um I'd be actively fighting somebody and the camera would go into the wall sometimes and I, could, and I yeah. couldn't see when you're in a small space especially it can get um, wonky. So I was having technical issues with that game even as compared to just you know me not being maybe good at it or one or the other but that did game you also, not did you not feel like a huge sense of accomplishment though after you beat that boss? I felt more of a sense of accomplishment after I beat the, um, oh, what was it? The, the big tall ogre guy. Okay. The chained ogre. The chained ogre. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I felt like I, because I, is I, this after the drunken monk? Yes. Did you get to him? Cause they, drunken so you, you split, you split two ways, right? So yeah. he fought the, the, um, the guy on the horse and I fought him and it's like, I'm going to go another direction. So I went, did you go into the memory? I went back in time? Yeah. yeah I, I went, went back went in time. Memory, yeah. And mm-hmm. that's maybe where the drunken monk yeah, is. Yeah, you're right. Yep, he's in there. And then, he's in the courtyard. Yeah, he's right before because Lady Butterfly. Get the, um, I never see, I never fought Lady you Butterfly. You get that one guy to help you with the drunken... Yeah. Which is super interesting. Yeah. I never Logan, had to him, be but. fair, Logan, I don't know, and it's mm-hmm. because it's hard, is I don't know if we've seen enough of Sekiro to prob- properly probably judge not. it. But I I guess it's one of those where I just I don't think I'm gonna go back and play any more of that game because I just I wanted to at least give it a shot. It's fucking hard. And so, hard. so I I guess that's where I'm at with it too. Is I I actively dislike that game too, but it's I get why you like it. And but, oh man, once you get into the once you get into the flow of like parrying stuff. There's there's nothing like a feeling of going into that going into a fight mm. that you've struggled with and just nailing it perfectly, like that's. There were times I felt like I got into a flow and I was like, oh, this is how this game's supposed yep. to work. And then the next time, I, I there was I was like, there's no flow in this, and now I'm just getting my ass beat for no reason. I don't understand. I couldn't. I felt like there was there was no rhyme or reason to why things were happening the way they were. I think At that's the beginning because... of the game that happens a lot because you're not you're not used to that those you're not used to playing a game like that and it really does force Mm. you to be super aggressive you cannot sit back in that game at all you can't play it like bloodborne you you cannot play it like bloodborne you you it's at the exact opposite of dark souls (laughs) dark souls you you hide behind a shield the entire game this Mm -hmm. time you must actively attack and break guard yep or else that guard bar goes down. And the, the epitome of that is the final boss. And I was coming. If, yeah. if you try to do anything to the final boss except for run up to him, you're going to get smoked by him. And I was, I mean, I'm coming off of Jedi too, which is um, a mix of this and Uncharted. A mix of, I mean, it's got the parrying stuff, but it's not even close. I mean, they're, they're different things. The parry but, timing is just like insanely wide open. Oh, <laughs> compar- yeah, compared comparatively, to Sekiro. Sekiro was like, <laughs> I, there'd be times I'm like, I, f- I fought the same guy like a million times, but why is the parrying different on this guy compared yeah. to this guy? They're the same character, but I don't, I don't know. It drove me crazy. I'm I'm okay with having Sekiro at the, at the, like the bottom half of the list. I don't know. Yeah. Jason, I don't know what your thoughts are on it either. I don't care where it goes. I know Kingdom Hearts is going to be on the bottom half of the list. I, I know that. Um, but Jason, I never got, I felt like I never got your true feelings on it either on where you felt like it should fall. I kind of want to leave. It. I kind of want to leave that to you. 
because if it depends on how important it is to you, it is our collective list. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so it same with Sekiro too, I guess with you, like how high does it fall on your list? So versus? you get like, I think we have individual things that are, mm-hmm. that are really important to us and maybe like one, a one B on here. Right. Mm-hmm. But it just really, lo- it just depends on where you want it. And I know where I want it on my personal list. Well, of course. <laughs> and so the thing is, is I, if it ends up at 10, it ends up at 10. That's fine. Um, I'm, I'm okay with it. I guess I just would that if that, if, cause you actively dislike it, I actively dislike Sekiro, but I understand Sekiro has, it's, uh, I, you know, other no, things I think about that, about it that are great. Having, um, having heard you say that, I think Sekiro knows, needs to be below it because I, 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 I like Sekiro a lot. Hmm. Um, I think, I don't think it's anywhere close to from's best work though. Okay. Um, so I, th- I think this is a weird year for me because there's a lot of games that I like and mm-hmm. but there's not a whole lot that I love. <laughs> I'm in the same boat. And I have, I think you're like, you obviously love kingdom hearts. So right. I think it needs to be like, if I think you're more passionate about kingdom hearts than I am, I'm going Sekiro, to be, so. that's just the way it is. Um, but I'm also okay. With, I, and I'm res- completely resigned to the fact coming into this. I was like, if it, falls to 10 it falls to 10 but i just want to make sure that it gets its due i, I think guess there's from- one, no i i think there is some merit in what caleb's saying mm. like what what is individually important to us mm. needs to be considered in mm. the but like i know mortal Kombat is going to be we all know mortal Kombat is going to be your top I of mean, course like and we all it's know kingdom hearts 3 is going to be my top like but, but the thing is is i I bet I like Mortal Kombat more than you liked Kingdom Hearts 3. I, I'm just going to guess. I mean, and I'm going to... Yeah, probably. So, I don't know collectively, it should collectively Mortal Kombat should be higher than Kingdom Hearts 3, is my thought on that. Can we do this? Let's, mm-hmm. let's separate... Can we separate them into top half and bottom half? Sure. Um, so, you think that would be an easier way to start? Okay. So we know we've already said that Sekiro, Sekiro bottom Kingdom half. Hearts, and probably Disco Elysium should be in the bottom half, right? Okay. So I'm just putting them in the order that I uh, mm-hmm. that I read them, not in any, any other. particular order. Okay. Disco. Okay. Um, and then we know, like, is it safe to say that... Um, Control. I think control should probably be in the top half. Death Stranding is in the top I half. I think that's probably, in the top right? half. I'll just put death. Um, yeah. um, is there anything else that's like a lock for the top? Is Resident Evil 2 a lock for the top? I would say yes. For top for top half? For, for top, top half. half. Sure. So that, that leaves us Call of Duty... Mortal Kombat and Goose and mm-hmm. Goose and Star Wars mm-hmm. for the middle. Hmm. So actually, let's just fill that in. Goose, Star. Uh, what else? Uh, MK, MK, and COD. There we go. We got our top ten. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> um, but that's a loose order, right? It's a very like loose that's, that's, order. I think that's a point. good starting point, at least. And now we can kind of finagle it from there. Like, I think that probably Star Wars needs to come down. Right? Yeah, in my opinion. So, yeah, because it shouldn't be number five, is what you're saying. Mm-hmm. It should come down. Um. All right, well, let's start doing, let's play the game of... Uh, Wait, can you just kind of, can you like just rearrange these? Yeah, I think I, you can. I Here, let's so. do this. I'm going to do, I'm going to cut that so I don't lose it. And then just put these, maybe you can't just drag. I thought you could. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Control, Death Stranding, RE... Goose, Star Wars, 
cod mk cod and then yeah that's right okay so now we can just kind of drag them around so i think star wars needs to move down in this list right Okay, so we're staying. So okay, so what we're saying I think, is okay. Go ahead, sorry, Logan. Oh no, I, I was just gonna say. So all right, so is Mortal Kombat eleven higher than than Star Wars? Yeah. Well. Yeah. I, okay. Yeah. Okay. I I will say yes. Obviously, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, I mean, yes. not for me personally, but I think collectively, yeah, I think, think it's that, a yes. Yeah. Okay. Um. Are we are we good with ten nine eight then? Jason, what are you you're thinking? I, again, I feel like you're. I mean, I'm going to always push for Kingdom Hearts to go higher. J- Caleb's always going to push gonna, it for it to be lower. I'm going to do. <laughs> I, we're going to stick with the Caleb Memorial tenth place only thing he played, <laughs> thing that he only played. It goes in tenth place. We'll stick with that tradition. Okay, and then uh, and, uh, and then in, <laughs> in the next years to come, if it gets played again, it might get moved up. That's list. why we do overtime, right? So we do overtime. Um, I went back and played Nero Automata. I like that game a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So you went yeah. back and played Stardew Valley. I did. <laughs> I did not like that game a lot. Um, but I did I did go back and play it. Um, uh, I, hmm. I have oh, uh, Mortal Kombat needs to go above Goose Game, right? I think so. Where does this COD live where it lives? Does COD stay at six? Do you think? I feel like on Tyler Goose Game might be too high. <laughs> I feel like it's a little high too. That's why I'm like, does, should COD go above Goose Game? I think it does. What if we swapped? What? If, I have a proposal. Okay. What if we just did that? Move Goose Game to nine. And then we move Kingdom Hearts and Sekiro up. I'm good with that. If you guys are, um, that gives I, us that makes us both feel a little bit better. It about does our games, make us right? feel better about our games. Um, <laughs> yeah, if you if you want to keep Sekiro above Goose Game, that's fine. Um, also, because Jason never really finished Goose Game, that. I think that makes sense. Um, what are your thoughts? Okay, so... Um, I, I would... I don't want to say what it is yet, but I would make one more change to this list and then I would call it done. I Personally. <laughs> I, um, I'm a little surprised at this list. Um, I would... I would... I want to make a proposal too. I want to put Mortal Kombat at three and move Resident Evil to four. And the reason for that is because it's still a remake. And I don't uh, want to see it in the top three. Yeah, I don't I don't agree with that at all though, because while it does share the same name, it's different in literally every other way. The story's still mm, pretty it's, much it's the different. same. It's is way it different. really? Yep. I did a look. I actually researched this the other day, and there's not much. There's only two scenes that are different. Mm, I feel like it's different. I I made sure enough. to do my research on did this. Did you in which playthrough? What, yeah, because in the original, there's there's four playthroughs though. There's four playthroughs in this one. It's just depending on it. You get the sec- the characters at the end, and once you beat it with the other two. I want this to happen, so I don't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I had somebody behind me on this one. That's why I, I knew it. <laughs> But I do, I, I do, I do think that Claire's playthrough is quite a bit different. Yeah, in the new 2019 one. I don't know. According to everything I looked up, it was because I didn't play the original, the, the original RE2. I mean, I'm not going to argue over a three and a four. So go ahead. <laughs> I it's just <laughs> that was my. I just I I have a hard time with a remake being a top three game. That is my I, only. I, I'm okay with moving it. I I don't think your reasoning is good, but I'm okay with moving it. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that justification, but mm. for other reasons, if if the reason is that Jason loves Mortal Kombat so much and you also really like Mortal Kombat, I liked then, it a lot. I played okay a, I that. played a lot of the combat towers. I see I did Jason, did you ever do the 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 campaign? 
He's saying no. He has never played the story mode of Mortal Kombat. Well, then he has to go to 10. <laughs> See, no, the other thing is, is I would actually I would actually li- also lobby for, for Call of Duty going above both of those games. No. <laughs> I can't see that. But. Okay, if you, neither of you can see that, then that's fine. I actually enjoy the, the multiplayer of the new Call of Duty too, so that's... Um, I propose... Okay. <laughs> ...that we switch control and Death Stranding. Hold, we on. Have, we hold, have, on. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> just let everybody just calm down for a second. Take a breath. Mm-hmm. Everybody just calm down. Is Mortal Kombat going to three and Resident Evil going to four, or does it have sure, to? Sure. I would. Let's go ahead and make that change. I want to make sure that no one hates that before I. Okay. I um yeah because. I, I, I'm 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 good with rearranging our five four three two one and at well, some point. Let but me if we let would, me put it this way though: is mm-hmm. I think Jason and I are both very passionate about Resident Evil Two. Am I am I correct in that? You are okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like I I'm not very into Mortal Kombat personally, um, and I feel like you like it, but didn't. Or are you like are you in the love it camp with Mortal Kombat? Or are you in the like it camp? Because I feel like as a, I'm you know in the I'm like saying? it camp with Mortal Kombat, and I'm also in the like it camp with Resident Evil Two. But I have my I like I just said my my remake issues with RE Two. That is my that is my. Biggest. But if we have if we have two people that are passionate about a game, as opposed to a game where one person is passionate about it, shouldn't it go to the two people? I don't know. I, yeah, I know this and is I, tough and, for you because, well, and I also feel like maybe Jason should be punished for not playing the the campaign for Mortal Kombat now. Like I was like, really? That's true too. <laughs> it's like five hours long. It's so good. <laughs> it's really good. I, this is I'm this not, is hurting I'm, you I'm a not, lot, isn't it? I'm just. Well, I didn't to... want to have to filibuster on Mortal Kombat, but I will if you want me to. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I will. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm in the camp of trying to give it to you, but and I. I appreciate that. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to go against that. I just. Mm-hmm. I. I just want to make sure we get it right and don't look back at it. And well, there. So for me, and I'm trying to simplify this so I don't, in fact, filibuster. Mm-hmm. I. Mortal Kombat 11, strictly, the game strictly playing matches of Mortal Kombat 11 with one character has been one of the seminal experiences of my gaming life. Someone say orgasmic. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So if, if Logan gets the bump, if Logan gets his Kingdom Hearts bump, you should get your Mortal Kombat bump. I don't know where you need to frame it that way, but I do, I, I, I know that Mortal Kombat 11 has taken over all of my gaming headspace outside of gaming. And so I've watched Mm. probably I've watched over a hundred hours of professional Mortal Kombat this year. Mm. I, when I'm not playing Mortal Kombat or playing another game, I'm watching people play Mortal Mortal Kombat. Kombat. And I, I've gotten a lot out of it, not just the game, but experiencing it through other people's eyes and Mm -hmm. watching a community be very excited about it. And in watching that community, have them teach me things and get better at it. So it's, it's really important to me and I don't want to, I'm, I'm trying not to be too anxious on where, excuse me, where it lands for me all time, Mm -hmm. but it's, it has surpassed some of the multiplayer games that are forever, Part Halo of two. me, <laughs> not surpassed Halo Two. Okay, just checking. It surpassed <laughs> Halo Three. Okay. Um, Halo Two is another level. Yeah, it's right, but it's it's not since Halo Two have I felt like playing a game competitively like this, and that is without even having experienced the story mode. I just love. 
playing that game. Can you promise me at some point you will play the story mode? Yeah. Okay. I will get I will get to it's it. So good. <laughs> I will. It's just it's the technical understanding of Mortal Kombat has been so rewarding for me. And it's hard. I I can't compare it to like Sekiro, but you can. you break you, you can, break you break through walls, yeah, right? You break yeah. through barriers and you get better at it and mm-hmm. you understand and you practice and all of that for me has been very rewarding. And the other thing, it has come along at just the right time for me because I can play a match of Mortal Kombat in just a couple of minutes and put it down. You know, or I can get a couple of games in and then put it down. And that's kind of where I'm at because I'm needed elsewhere a lot of times in my life right now. So, so Caleb, I'm very happy with where it's at right now if you guys are okay with it. So, Caleb, would you just throw in this out there? Would you put Star Wars over Call of Duty? Personally, yes. What do you think? I I wouldn't personally, but Jason, I'm going to ask you that. I one. don't. I would not, but okay. I also don't care. Okay, <laughs> so I'm kind of in the same. I'm the old, I think I'm the only one that cares that that Resident Evil shouldn't be in the top three. And, but I, so I'm happy with where it's at right now. I could even I think see, I'm, but I'm willing to talk about the top two. I could even see, and it, it's. This is, yeah, see, this is where we just get locked in different camps, but I could see Kingdom Hearts going above Star Wars even. Ooh, now we're talking. Mm, no, Ooh. no, we can't do that. Ooh, we got two out of three. No, no. Okay, if we're, if we're letting Passion three Projects... Three ten is locked. Done. <laughs> if, we're letting, if we're letting Passion Projects go through, talking about a guy who went to see the orchestra of Kingdom Hearts over here. And that is somewhat my argument for watching other people play Mortal Kombat. It's not just the game, but it is it's the community around it that I've that I've really enjoyed and embraced. But I would let I would let you guys fight that fight. It honestly depends on how I, important Jedi is to Caleb. It I I can't let you I mean is the only thing would be is if you would if Jason you were to say that you think Kingdom Hearts is a better game than Star Wars, then I think it would move up. If you can't honestly say that, then it stays where it is. What about this? I'd be willing to do this. What if we move Star Wars up, Kingdom Hearts up, and Call of Duty into seventh? Mm. Sure. Would you rather do that? Absolutely. Okay. Still not going to get it in the top five. Damn it. <laughs> no, Sorry. it's not getting to the top. You got it five. right there, knocking on the door though. It's right there, right knocking there. on the door, man. I think that's fair because just I use your keyblade and unlock the door. It'll be fine. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, um, it's not getting in the top. Let's put five. it this way: <laughs> it's already four spots higher than I thought it was going to end up. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, okay. Should we have the discussion on two and one? We have not at any point in time so far talked about the Death Stranding. Right. Because we have not podcasted since then. We have not had, we have not given it its due, I guess, at this point. We, all, the only conversation we have had about this game was Jason and I walked out of a, of a Christmas party one night and Jason looked at me and goes, I didn't hate Death Stranding. <laughs> I said, either did I. And that was the, the extent of that conversation. Well, I feel like I've, I told this to Caleb, too. I feel like I'm supposed to hate it. Yeah. And I just don't. I don't hate it at all. Man versus terrain. Not that bad. And the weird thing <laughs> is, is that I wasn't game, like, I just didn't hate it the, that much. The thing I went, that I thought, this was my thought about the game, is that that game is 32 hours long. And in not at any point in that game did I ever go, boy, I wish this game would move on and get done, get, be over with. Like I that eh, there are times when you're walking through the mountains and stuff where it's just like there oh, were some, I want to just get there. Okay, the, <laughs> some of the snow mountains sucked, yeah. but I was never like, boy, I like I'm I want to put this game down and I don't I want to play it anymore. I never felt like I had that that moment with that game, or I never felt like that this mission was just useless or or anything else, or this story beat was useless. I kind of had the opposite where I was like. I I knew in the back of my head that I have other stuff that I need to get to for game of the year, so I have to put this down. But I kind of just want to keep making deliveries for a while, type of thing. Oh, like you wanted to do other like standard yeah. orders, even? Yeah, yeah. So you actually wanted to go back and do more with that game. That says a good amount too. Um, 
I, yeah, I, I like that game a lot. Well, I already kind of spilled the beans on where I would put those two, but that you wanted, you would flip flop yeah. them. I'm not sure I would flip flop them, but I'm. Death Stranding is just it's uh, it's unlike any other thing that I've ever played. I totally agree. With that. I agree with that too. I want. I personally, that's that's. I would like to reward that. I would like to say this with confidence, so I don't want to. I'm on, I'm trying to mm-hmm. articulate this as best as possible. I think Death Stranding is something you've never played before with the budget of a game you've never played before. Yeah. There's never been anything that bold and that expensive and with the kind of financial backing like what is almost like an experimental indie game at its core. I, it just in saying that even, I would say Control had some things that it could do if it had more budget. I, I don't think Remedy's got the budget that Sony gave them by any means. I think that game could have done some other things. Not saying not saying that it, it should have either, but I, I agree with what you're saying. I, that is what I'm is really what I'm just trying to get at is like they're both those games are both have like big ideas. Now, granted, Death Stranding goes a little weirder with those ideas. I don't. Control's pretty weird. <laughs> Control's pretty weird, <laughs> but Death Stranding kind of goes. They they go one more step. It's could it. Th- that dream logic stuff is pretty out there. Yeah. Like the whole premise of control is pretty out there. Oh yeah. Not only that, but you're never really sure what is reality and what is what is the what is the dream plane called? I can't the remember. astral plane. The astral plane. Like you're never sure what dimension we'll call it you're in. And for me, I think the world building in both of these games is super impressive. I think that's mm-hmm. both ten out of ten in world building in that aspect. Uh, but for me, the difference is I didn't really enjoy the gameplay of Control very much. Um, and I, I'm not saying that like Death Stranding had like <laughs> game changing controls no. and all that stuff, but I didn't mind playing it. Um, and Control, there were times when I was kind of, I don't really want to do any more combat. I just want to see the next story beat. Um, and I know you're probably going to disagree with that. No, but. I don't. I, I have two, I have two problems with Control that, that, um, that keep me a little bit frustrated is the the pace at which you unlock stuff. I don't really, I just not for me. I guess I just wanted more of those abilities right away, and I didn't want the I didn't want to have the potential of missing them, which you could do as well. And mm. then I think there's a difficulty spike at the end of control that's a little oh, odd. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. yeah, it's rough. There, that lasts section with was, all the rising platforms you have to keep going up yeah and that, then it, it respawns you yeah. at the beginning of that mm-hmm. yeah it's just well it's we all kind have of, problems with that yeah Jeez. sure it's because it's out of nowhere right it, well and the thing is is it i i thought the, the one thing i will say about control is that the ending was a little too abrupt for me i think it i would have liked maybe another hour of that game to breathe in that ending and kind of explain a little bit more and where obviously Death Stranding took that solid hour at the end of that game and cutscenes to explain hour. that game, hour and a half, maybe two hours. Um, I think it was a solid two hours. It might have been because I remember I, it was really late, and I'm like, "No, nah, I'll just watch the ending cutscene." And then it just, I'm like, "Oh god, it's like four o'clock, and I'm still watching this cutscene." <laughs> I mean, credits rolled at one point, and there were still like two hours yeah. to go. Like there was. Um, Yeah, I, 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 you know, both games. When you put them next to each other like this, I think there are more things that it, to point out with control that I think of issues. I guess as compared to Death Stranding. Um, not that Death Stranding is a perfect game. No, it's not a it's not a perfect game by any means, but not even close. But from what I'm hearing, we should just flip these two, right? I. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, part of me can't believe that we're considering Death Stranding for this award. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> there are there are people out there who flat out hated this game, didn't play it after four hours, and just said, "Fuck this game, it's terrible." Well, I think that's okay. So somebody pointed this out mm-hmm. to me, and I thought it was a really cool observation. Is that the beginning of that game is designed to be very frustrating because you don't have any of the stuff from other people's worlds yet 
And yeah. a big theme of that game is that we should all help each other and we're all, we're all con- yeah, and, and contribute to, to society, right? And so once you start getting those things and it becomes easier, then that point is made more clear. So I don't necessarily think that the beginning of that game being, I'm not saying it's the greatest design to make a game a slog <laughs> in the beginning, but there is, there is a reason behind it, I, I think, unless they you know just got lucky with that. Yeah. Oh, I think that's intentional. Mm. There were some definite parts where it was just like, like, like fragile. Her character sucked. I and liked fragile. Really, yeah. I thought, I thought the, and I think it was more of just the like, maybe it was her performance in it, but I thought it was pretty weak compared to everybody else. Um, maybe that was really what it was, but she would probably be the character that I could have lived without. That her um, arc though was I liked a lot. With her I think her story to, arc yeah. kind of, but I just thought that it was just kind of like, I just don't care about you for whatever reason, and yet I cared about the other characters more. Sure. Like, I thought Hartman's story arc was pretty good. I would have actually liked to have seen him go into the into a beach <laughs> like and see what he did with his yeah. uh, they l- kind of show minutes. It. They do kind of show it, where there's the crowd of people, and his wife crowd and his child go away in the crowd. But that oh, wasn't on a beach, that was, was a, it? That was a flashback. Though, that was the flashback. It? That yeah. wasn't what he did when he went onto a beach to look for them. Because I feel you... like that happens on a beach, though. It might have, but mm. yeah, it does. Because that's when they 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 all yeah it like, takes they place act- on a they beach. They actually died, and he didn't, so he went back. Mm. But yeah, but what Logan is saying is like when he does go into the when the machine hits whatever dies, his quote unquote beach yeah, is, right. which is not a beach. It's then, but oh, wow, whatever. Right, <laughs> I know. Right, destiny. <laughs> Um. Yeah. The uh, Higgs is cool. <laughs> Higgs was cool. <laughs> I the, love the, the Higgs character design. We talked the, about that yeah, a lot. A lot of the character design that the the uh, one-on-one fight scene with Higgs was so dumb. That's the other thing is that, like <laughs> this just in. Yeah. <laughs> Hideo Kojima knows what he's doing <laughs> and don't pretend like you're smarter than he is or that no. you've considered that this is hokey because he knows stop yourself <laughs> he knows I think a lot of it too I would love to play this game in Japanese I would I would Why? love to know I, if, if I would love to understand Japanese so that I could play this game in Japanese, in because I think yeah. a, a lot of a lot of the stuff that comes across as hokey or like rough comes in the translation as well. I like could. that that somebody was explaining the whole the Princess Beach thing and how like in English that's pretty dumb to be honest, but like from a foreign speaker speaking English, that's actually a pretty clever pun, you know? So I would love to hear his stuff explained in his native well, language so that what, I understand what he's saying. So what do you what do you mean by the princess beach? Is that something in, cult, in Japanese culture or what? No, it, just like if you if you don't have a 100% grasp of a language mm-hmm. and you still come up with a pun, that's kind of I always just read the beach like it was like your own personal heaven kind of thing. No, he's talking about the joke. Sam's joke. I guess I'm Mario and you're Princess Beach. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the pun. Mm-hmm. And Oh, with that thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And a lot of people criticized that and said it was stupid and stopped playing the game because of one line, whatever, do what you want. But still I it's I thought it was just them like just doing a dumb pop, pop culture reference. Yeah. And, and I would love to hear I would love to hear in his you know natural language some of that stuff where he can actually explain his idea without having to have it translated first. Uh, yeah, I also like heard people getting mad about the thing where I think Fragile said like here's your metaphor. Yeah. And it was like, yeah, that was she was pointing out the fact that this isn't yeah, like yes, this is a metaphor. Like this isn't like and she said it on purpose to say that like not 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 as a heavy-handed thing like yeah of course this is a metaphor like that's the way i wrote i took it as and not i don't know i i'm okay <laughs> but i'm good with moving it to one jason what do you think i i i think so in a year like this where Nothing was really, 
nothing was really incredible besides a few games on here, but the problem is is that those games we individually thought were incredible didn't resonate with all three of us. Right. So that leaves us with the two control game. and Death Stranding, mm-hmm. and I feel like I want Death Stranding higher on that list. Um, Logan can probably take it or leave it, and Caleb would like Death Stranding number one as well. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I'm good with that. Wow. Top ten. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. Really? To be honest, yeah. I, I kind of felt like we were going to go into this a little nicer than what we, I mean, yeah. just. We didn't have any four for fours. <laughs> no, we didn't have any four. I was just say, I was like, you know what? I think I, we all probably went in knowing that, yeah, we had our passion projects. Yeah. And, and like an I understanding. Said, like, this, I, I think for me, it's it's obviously Sekiro. And I I think that in a year like this, where everything is kind of, like I said before, it's good, but not great. Um, yeah. I think that uh, Sekiro deserves to be on this list, but I'm okay with it being low, even though I'm very high on it, uh, just because I think there are better projects from that same studio. And I think the reason that it's getting a lot of Game of the Year awards is because is because it's in kind of a weak year, mm-hmm. because I think a lot of places are giving it, giving from kind of a Lifetime Achievement Award. Like you've been oh. making great games this whole time, but they always happen to be up against other this other banger of a game. And this year, there's not one, so we'll give it to you this year. Um, so yeah, that's that's where I am. So I'm I'm happy with this list. Okay, all right. So we'll go back from ten to one. Number ten, Disco Elysium. Which we didn't we didn't really talk about this no, Elysium, we didn't. but I I want to force you guys when it comes I, out on console right, I, I want to force you. I'm to play actually it, good so, without you yeah, talking exactly. about it because I kind of want to I want to yep. experience that for myself. So yeah, number ten Disco Elysium, number nine Untitled Goose Game, number eight Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, number seven Call of Duty Modern Warfare, number six Kingdom Hearts Three, number five Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, number four Resident Evil Two, number three Mortal Kombat Eleven. Number two, Control, and your game of the year 2019 is Death Stranding. Hideo Kojima's Death Stranding. <laughs> yeah, produced by Hideo Kojima. Directed written by Kojima. Hideo Kojima. <laughs> written by Hideo Kojima. Um, well, that was 2019. Uh, I have a feeling next year is not going to be this easy at all based on the first quarter. Oh, no. it's We're going to knock it out in five minutes next year. It's just... We're gonna. They're all gonna line up perfectly and mm. something like Woo! that. <laughs> all right. Congratulations. Well, well, Persona Five Royal comes out, so it's gonna just be that, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, all right. Well, we are going to go into overtime, but that is going to be a separate podcast where we are going to rank the top games of the history of this channel. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Uh, look for that uh, on the channel as well. Uh, good day to you, sirs. Thank you.